Hey guys, Fred here, and today I have a color grading tip for those who shoot DJI drone video in D-Log. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a professional color grader like most of you. I'm just a droner who's looking for ways to improve video quality. The inspiration for this video is Casey Farris, who recently posted a tutorial on color grading with Resolve 17. There'll be a link to his video in the description below. Now, Casey is the Resolve master, and I suggest checking out his channel when you get a chance. When I watched his latest color grading video, which explains Resolve color space transform effect I thought wow this may help DJI D-Log color correction and sure enough there's a DJI option in the effect now Billy Kyle was kind enough to allow me to use this Mavic 3 D-Log clip to show you how to use color space transform if you're into drones and you're not subscribed to Billy's channel you should do it but right after you watch this video so let's get to it all right so we have our raw D-Log clip here from the Mavic 3 and what we're gonna do is the first step in color management or color correction, and that is to your open effects in Resolve. Look for a color space transform. I'm just going to load that effect onto this node. All right, and then we're going to go here. We have to set some parameters here. The first thing we want to do is our output. So we're outputting to YouTube, and for that you want to use Rec 709. All right, and then those are the color profiles and the gamma for for that. And then here for input, we want to choose DJI D gamma. And for gamma, we want to use GDI, DJI D log. And look at that automatically, boom. We go from this to that. So basically what it does is just sets the basic parameters. You can see how that sky pops like that. The first step of the process, right, to get it to this point. And then once we have it at this point, then we can start to manipulate the image to get it to our liking. And we, you know, color grading is really, I think, subjective, right? Depends on your eye and what you're looking for. There's a couple of things that I usually do is one is on temperature. I usually want to make it a little bit warmer. So we'll put it around 820. We don't want to overdo it. I always bring mid detail up to about 20 and then color boost. We'll want to bring a little bit of the color up. Not a lot. So you go like maybe 12. Now let's reduce the highlights. You start to see the clouds pop a little bit better, and we'll increase the shadows or, or reduce the shadows and bring out the blacks a little bit. Maybe we'll just go with the highlights a little higher. And then the saturation, just a tad. Okay, and if we can take a look here, this is, there you go. There's the grayed out D log, and there's the image. But the whole idea is to get the basic fundamental starting point by using. Uh, color space transform to, and, and the DJI settings to get that right and then you can work from there so it's it's it takes a lot of the second guessing out of it so let's just take a look at the comparison now That's how to use Resolve 17's color space transform effect with DJI D-Lock video. I should mention that this was done with the free version of Resolve 17, and hopefully this will help you streamline your DJI video production workflow. And there are settings for many other cameras, so you might want to check that out. Now, before you guys go and critique my color grading, please keep in mind that this was a quick example, and normally I would spend a lot more time tweaking settings. One thing's for sure, the Mavic 3 shoots amazing video images, and thanks again to Billy Kyle for letting me use that clip. Hope this video was helpful. Please hit that like button, and please subscribe to C5 Drones for more drone-related content. Thanks for watching, guys, and fly safe.